Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing a Princess Polly haul slash q and I thought I would just try on some cute clothing and also update you guys on a bunch of questions that you have for me. So let's jump straight into the video. This is the first piece that I picked up from the Princess Polly website. These bathers can we take a moment how cool are they the colors and the pattern really gets me i love these bikinis i just think the beautiful colors and the cool pattern together work so well uh they everything that i got is a size six as well so yeah let's jump straight into the first question i also have a princess polly code for you guys if you're wanting to save any Dosh when you're shopping on their website. So the code is SKYW20 and that will get you 20% off. I'll link all the information down below as per usual. But let's get straight into the video. Juicy questions. Thank you guys so much for asking me questions. I really appreciate it and I love you guys so much. If it weren't for you guys, like I, I would not have the motivation to like get up each day and do my makeup and film like I just love creating content for you guys and I'm just so happy that I have so many supporters out there and I just yeah I just wanted to express my gratitude before we jump straight into it first question how's your sex life after having forest sex life is better than it's ever been so that's good I feel like I don't know. I think the more you get to know someone, you're more comfortable with your partner. I feel like sex just automatically becomes better and you grow as a team and your connection's better and stuff like that. So yeah, sex is good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> All right, let's get into the next outfit and I will be right back. Alrighty, so these are the other bikinis that I got. So I'm really sticking to like the zebra pattern here. I really like it. I think it's very fun and flirty, perfect for summer, all these bright, beautiful colors. This is a size six. I feel like I could have gone a size eight in the top just to cover a little bit more of my boobies. I mean, it does cover. It does cover, definitely. But I feel like I could have gone with an eight as well. So if you have a similar body type to me, just keep that in mind that if you've got big boobies, that the t if you go with a six, it will be a little bit tighter than norm. When do you aim to have the house finished by? This is a good question. I felt like we would have had things done faster than what we have, but yeah, it's moving very slowly. So I'm say maybe like two years my goal would be like one or two years, but like we're already in February. Wait, what do you mean? So probably two to three years if I'm being honest and realistic. It is going to be a very long process. There is a lot of work to do on this house and this property. Like we've we've only started doing the outside stuff and that's still not finished. So yeah, it's very overwhelming. A lot of it is just like very hectic and yeah, another one of the questions was when we'll be moving upstairs. We're going to start hopefully working on the renovations upstairs like ASAP when we get some time. At the moment, I'm so busy with work. Lockie's so busy with work. So we really just have to find the time that we can fit it in. But yeah, as soon as upstairs is renovated, we're going to be moving upstairs and then working on the downstairs renovation. Uh, but yeah, the goal is to just like get comfortable upstairs first so then we can like move up there and then focus on downstairs. The minor fall in the major lift. More goes like this, the fourth, the fifth. The minor fall in the major lift. Anyway, next we have, okay, I had to have this. This might not be some of y'all cup of tea, <laughs> but I love this outfit. I needed to have it. I was like, that's so perfect for kindy pickup. I've chosen to tuck mine in, but you could wear it like this. You could wear it like just like half tucked in, half 
out. I just wanted something super comfortable that was like summery and free, easy to put on for like swimming lessons, grocery shops, when I pick Foresto up from kindy, stuff like that. So I love this. It's very, very stretchy material very comfortable very easy to wear so that's why i got this i understand it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea but that's why i love fashion because different people like different shit anyway the next question when are you going to have another baby that was an, another big question look I don't know. I'm very overwhelmed with a lot of stuff right now. I think I spoke about it on my Instagram. Like, I'm just like dealing with a lot. And I am someone who has to focus on like smaller tasks and I have to focus on one thing at a time. So when I'm focusing on like t 10 different projects and like mum life and cooking and cleaning and work and like gym, I'm just like on overdrive so it's just like so overwhelming but I just want to work really really hard this year work my fucking ass off and then eventually have another baby and just chill you know what I'm saying like I just want to chill I just want to calm my farm so I'm gonna be a psycho this year and maybe next and then we'll look at having a baby when I'm like I don't, I actually don't even know the answer to this question. I really don't. It's a predicament that I'm in. I'm like, do I do it now? It's like a band-aid. Do you rip it off? Or do I like completely enjoy this year and next year with just Forrest and like us as a family and just like being able to get my work done because let's be real like you can't get anything done with a toddler around or even like a like even a baby I felt it very hard to juggle everything so I think what I'm doing is I've got Forrest in kindy a couple of days this week and that's the day they're the days I'm focusing on my work and then when he's home I'm purely with him because I don't want to be muddling the two and I don't, I don't want him to grow up like always seeing me working and not like giving him my time so I just want to make sure that I've got time for like I just want to be able to give my time to Forrest and a new baby so when I have more time I'll definitely be looking at having another baby but yeah I just don't I don't know I don't know if it's good to do it now or like in a year's time I just I don't know but I, I think I'll feel in my heart like when it's right but like it's definitely on the cards, okay? Next question. Okay, so next we have this beautiful black knitted skirt. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see in the mirror, but it's got these two splits at the bottom, which I think is just, I don't know, it adds personality to the skirt rather than it just being like a plain pencil skirt. It's very, it's like that knit fabric, very stretchy, very, very comfortable. Cannot wait for winter fashion. Let's go! Winter! Anyway, I've put my hair over my nipples because this is very, very see-through and sheer. But I just loved this top. I had to have it. Uh, you could wear, like, nipple covers underneath. Or maybe you have enough confidence to just have your nipples on show. Whatever. Not me. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know what I would wear underneath this. I would definitely have to find something to wear underneath it. I just think this top is so beautiful. Such a statement pose. Had to have, had to have. Gotta keep checking, gotta keep checking my hair is over my nipples. This is a question that I get asked a lot. My height. So I'm like 160 centimeters. I'm not sure why. That is like a very, very frequently asked question. I'm not sure why, like are people trying to work out uh, if I'm like tall, that's why I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm very short. I think I'm short. Like, and like when, a, I just need to stop saying like, but when people meet me in real life, they often say, oh my gosh, you're so small. Like you're short. They were expecting me to be taller. So yeah. That's that. That's my height. Let's get into the next fit. 
<gasps> okay, how cute is this? Another swimwear set. I love this. Like, what do you mean? This top, I love that it's swimwear. You could wear this to a festival or even just this looking like a casual top that you would throw on. It's so perfect for bikinis because like when you go to the beach, you often will go to like Macca's or like a grocery store after. So it's good to be able to just like pop your bottoms on and keep the top on. Like I just love that concept. I love the sleeves on this. It's so cute. And the color, can we talk about the color? And I really admire how high-waisted their bikinis are. I just... High-waisted bikinis for me is everything. It's like water and ice. I need it to live. Next question. Did you circumcise Forrest? Absolutely not, honey. <laughs> he... Well, I don't know. Like, there's very good pros and cons when it comes to circumcision, I think. But... <gasps> okay. How cute is this? Another swimwear set. I love this. Like, what do you mean this top? I love that it's swimwear. You could wear this to a festival or even just this looking like a casual top that you would throw on. It's so perfect for bikinis because, like, when you go to the beach, you often will go to, like, Macca's or, like, a grocery store after so it's good to be able to just like pop your bottoms on and keep the top on like I just love that concept I love the sleeves on this it's so cute and the color can we talk about the color and I really admire how high-waisted their bikinis are I just high-waisted bikinis for me is everything it's like water and ice I need it to live anyway next question did you circumcise Forrest? Absolutely not, honey. <laughs> he, well, I don't know. Like, there's very good points. Like, there's very good pros and cons when it comes to circumcision, I think. But no, I didn't. Like, the thought of cutting my, the thought of cutting my, the thought of cutting my son's foreskin didn't really cross my mind. So no, we didn't circumcise him, but I also have nothing against circumcision. Lockie's not circumcised. If he was, I'm sure he would have been like, let's circumcise him because I know that guys who are circumcised prefer it. And I know that guys who aren't don't really care. So, but I just think, I don't know, if it wasn't meant to be there, then why was it there? You know? So no, we didn't circumcise for resto. Maybe he'll love us or hate us for that decision one day. But yeah, these bikinis are everything. <laughs> okay, here is another outfit that I honestly just had to have. Like how adorbs. It's adorbs. Anyway, I thought this was adorbs. It was soaking up all my adorbs feelings that I had and I just had to have her. So cute. I feel like the trick to getting older is to dress younger. <laughs> Maybe not in every circumstance, but what do you guys think? Is it working for me? I don't know. I really like, like, I need to have a daughter. I need to have a daughter because I would just dress her in the cutest stuff. Could you imagine this, like, matching with your daughter? Stop it. Anyway. Would you ever go back to doing makeup bookings? Absolutely. Yes, I think I will once I have some more time. Actually, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, f I feel like my plans for the future is just, like, work my butt off now and then, like, focus on mom life. Like, I just... Because I just want to be one of those moms who can just, like, do fun things, like, as a mom. Because I didn't have time off when I had Forrest and, and that was a choice like no one forced me to work I didn't need to work but I just I wanted to work and now I feel like I want to like when I have another baby I want to just purely focus on my kids like I yeah I just so maybe I could do makeup on weekends and stuff but yeah I just I just want to really dedicate my time to like working really hard now and then 
just like focusing on family later on when I'm a bit older and stuff like that. So maybe I'll go back to makeup. Right now I don't have time for it with the Renault's personal goals and achievements and being a mum. So yeah, I just, not right now. It's just very, like even for me to do my own makeup is time consuming. So, and like makeup bookings is like weekend work, which is when I spend time with Lockie and Forrest and that's when we all bond as like a family. So I really just want to take that in and enjoy that for as long as possible. Okay guys, how cute is this top? Festival lights. I am riding the festival wave right now. So bloody adorable. So this top is also super see-through. So I've tried to place my nipples where they can't really be seen. But I've just chucked that like wool ribbed skirt back on just so I had something to put on my bottom area so I'm not like standing there in underwear with the top but you can basically kind of put together what it would look like with something nice you know to pair it with I would wear black flared jeans with this sorry not jeans um pants I would definitely wear like black flared pants with this I reckon it would look super cool like you could seriously dress this up something crazy like space buns just anything. There's so much that you could do with this top. I love the style of it. I think it's epic. Definitely want to get dressed up and like shoot a cool festival vibe photo in this tee. But we will get on to answering some more questions. Are you engaged? No, Lockie and I aren't engaged. A lot of you guys were asking about my dad. So he's not really in my life think that everyone's entitled to like what they like in life but yeah we're just not close and we just don't really have any type of relationship but that's totally fine with me like I'm not sad about it I don't feel sorry for myself I just I think that I've turned out fine and I'm just grateful that my mum is so amazing so hey oh my gosh how cute is this dress <gasps> mum vibes or what this is so mum vibes. I really like this dress, you guys. When I saw it on the website, I was like, I have to have it. The sleeves, the color, the style. I love that it's a long dress. It's so mum life, like so mum life. I love it. And then I also got this hat from Princess Polly as well. I've been wanting one of these for the longest time. I'm so happy that I got my hands on this. I love these hats. They go with so much. Anyway, full house tour, yes, that is coming. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me with my content. Our internet's been so, so bad. I actually have to drive to my mom's house after I finish filming this to edit it and upload it. So, wish me luck. I'm running out of time because Forrest has to be picked up from kindy very soon. Do you sleep with your hair out or tied back at night? Hair tips, please. Guys, stay tuned. I'm going to be filming a fully updated hair care routine. I do uh, take very good care of my hair. I love using products in my hair. Plus, I'm on the JS Health Vitamins as well. You guys probably would have heard me speak about them if you've been following me for a long time. So, yes. Oh, my. What do you mean? I... Okay. This is better than what I expected it to be. This is so me, you guys. This is my style. I'm updating my style, don't you think? Like, I feel like my style has evolved so much. Like, this is so classy and sophisticated and just beautiful. Like, this would turn heads and it's like, it's not slutty. It's not trashy. It's like... The opposite, which is what I'm going for. When I saw this on the website, I was like, damn, girl. It's actually better than what I expected, to be honest. Like, I love it so much more. That sounds so up myself. I love it so much more on me, not even the model. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just happy with this. Very happy with this outfit. Okay. I got asked if I'm still breastfeeding. No, I think I stopped breastfeeding at like eight or nine months. 
yeah or yeah eight or nine months but i felt like the reason why it was so easy for us to stop breastfeeding like forrest and i was because from the start i had introduced bottles very early so like at a very early age i think he was like very fresh when i first gave him a bottle of pumped milk and then i slowly started to introduce formula i don't know maybe at like five or six months and then like sometimes when we would go out to lunch and I wanted to have a couple drinks I would like give him formula instead or if I didn't feel comfortable breastfeeding somewhere I would take formula and bottles because it just like worked so well for me so yeah we didn't have a problem at all with weaning my boobs just naturally kind of stopped producing milk and then I just it was just felt right for both of us to just like be like okay we're gonna do the transition now from breast to bottle and I couldn't be happier like I loved breastfeeding Forest. I loved it I loved it more than I expected I would but I was also very ready to stop I feel like for me I was just ready to yeah just because there's so many pros and cons with both I feel so yeah I think it's just like whatever works best for you really but yeah we're not breastfeeding anymore so I've changed up how I've worn this jumpsuit it's got little ties that you're supposed to tie to these little bits but I just did halter neck because it's easier and quicker and I've got a bounce to go pick up for resto so I'm going to answer one more question and that will conclude the video uh what else can you share your gym routine or workout vids absolutely there'll be so much more training and like health and fitness videos coming very soon so stay tuned for that guys I know you definitely want to see more so I actually filmed a video talking about health and fitness like I filmed a health and fitness Q&A so Keep an eye out for that one. It's coming very soon. Do you miss your old house? I miss the internet so much. And I kind of do miss my old house. Like it was like very easy to clean, obviously, compared to this massive house. And that, there's, there's definitely things that I miss. But I'm also very grateful to be in this house. And I feel like once it's renovated, it's going to be like dream home. So... You are my fucking spirit animal. Your videos lighten my day. Plus, my boyfriend loves the Renault vlogs. How cute. I am obsessed with that. Thank you guys so much for keeping up to date with my content and just overall loving and supporting me like it means the world. I think I did an appreciation chat at the start of the video not sure but if i didn't i just want to let you guys know that i am so grateful for you i love you all very much that is the end of the haul i hope you guys enjoyed this style of video trying on clothes and just basically talking to you guys answering some questions that you want to know but i will leave all princess polly's details in the description box below in the description box below so Hopefully that's easy access for you guys if you're wanting to shop any of their pieces. Don't forget my code SKYW20. That will help you save a whopping 20% off. I'm going to go see my little man and I will check back in with you guys very shortly. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.